So, thank you for joining us on Let's Do Something. Today we have Stephanie here, and we're going to do a cooking hey. episode. So, what's on the menu today, Corbin? We're going to make a coney dog pie. Ooh, what's that? So, a coney dog pie is like a chili dog, but Michigan has its own spin with onions. I don't do onions. They're gross. But it's not true coney then. Well, it's close enough. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make that. Um, it's my own little concoction that I came up with and been perfecting for the last seven months. Oh, okay. So I think it's finally ready for the world. All right. Let's All right. see what you got here. Okay. What's first? So the first thing is we're going to take this pan and we're going to move all these cheeses out of the way and we're going to coat this thing with butter. Get these out of the way. All right, so just a nice, healthy, ser healthy serving of butter. Just smother it all on there. All right. This is also going to be like a thousand billion calories, so I just you know you're going to die. Heart attacks are a very no one ever real it. possibility. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just kind of. So it soaks in and it doesn't stick to the pan, even though it's a non-stick pan. And it doesn't really matter. Have you tried it with like a non-stick spray before? Or? Nope. Screw that. Alright. So here we go again. A little bit more. This doesn't really this is just extra flavor. So the bottom gets nice and buttered because we're gonna do a lot of buttering on it. Okay. And the bottom doesn't usually get buttered. I like buttered bottoms. So, then we're going to take croissant rolls, and you want to open you up one? one or two. Uh, I'm going to open one, you're going to open one. I was going to and open we're going to go way. through, and uh, these are flake, flaky crescent dinner rolls that are buttered. Okay. There's eight rolls in each one. We're going to need both of them. Whoop. How did you get... Oh, I... You got to take the wrap right yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, I'm really... Uh, Forgetting things. I, I got a little premature excitement there. Right. So, I uh, just threw that on the ground. We're going to move this off to the side here with our big mess here. God, this smells so good. Raw, buttery just, dough. Just wait till it's done. Alright. Kind of reminds me of butter popcorn. It really, yeah, it does. Like, like smell, the, I get a good smell. Yeah, of like the movie theater mm -hmm. ones. So, Are we breaking up the whole thing? Yeah, just pull it all apart. Okay. I like to get it into the little triangles. All right. So. It doesn't have to be perfect, but. Like how deep are we putting this? One That's row? He said, um. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't really matter because we're gonna really be rolling it all you together. Just do that. Yeah. Well, it's all gonna get rolled together anyways. I just like to try and uh, try and have some order to it. So, anyways. There's no order in cooking. We're gonna go through. Start pushing this down. Well, we might not need all of this. We just want to get a nice little messy thing here. See, now it's all connected. Doesn't really matter. You know they make these in uh, rolls already connected, right? Yeah. Well, okay. who cares? <laughs> um, Just for future reference to make your life easier. So, I'm going to put these in here. I always use cre these crescent rolls, I don't know why. Uh, you know what? I, it's because I had extra ones left over one time, and I was like, oh, what can I make here? And I know we just combined them all together, now I'm ripping them all apart. It's very counteractive. Uh, I, I have no judgment. So, let's see. So we want to make sure this whole thing here is, covered. is completely covered. And not too thick, but also no like holes in it. But if there are, it's okay. 
because the cheese will cover the holes and then when it bakes it will also cover it so all right This rolling pin is absolutely useless on dough. No. I gotta use a uh, non-stuck one. Yeah. So, now that this is on here, we're gonna go through and we're going to put this little attachment around the little pan. Okay. And, I keep forgetting my head might be in the shot. <laughs> so, all right, so, now that that's on there, we're going to go ahead and line the edges with the dough here. The thermating, all right. And we're going to go probably about halfway up. I think that should be enough. We might not need to uh, flatten some of this out. So, let's see. So, just flatten it shove it into the side. It's actually easier to flatten out once it's in the bowl. Yeah, it makes sense. So, now one of the things that you can see is that while I'm doing that, it's, uh, it's stretching. stretching it out and messing up the bottom and that's okay. Just touch up. Okay. Let you do that part. popcorn now just smelling like it. it's so buttery <laughs> yeah it's uh it's very uh okay. i don't know i'm already hungry so great i'm, like, I'm oh, super excited to try this i make the popcorn got it yeah all right so now we got that little half roll there yes we're gonna use that to kind of layer out the bottom that's super thin yeah perfect Also try to get the edges as well a little bit more because we want it to really right now we're building a bowl. So we're uh there we go. Okay. That. Alright, uh, let me see. It looks like the thinnest area is over here, so go ahead and Yep. And the uh, the nice thing is that uh, I bought four of the crescent rolls because uh, well I wasn't sure how many this brand would cover, but uh, we should be able to use one for the top piece. Okay. So we could use um, if we need to get in and use like half of one to to kind of fill this in a little bit more. We can, but I don't think we need that. So. Place. Let me I'll put this into here. A little bit more there. Yeah. I mean, eh, there might be a few spots where there's a lot of bread, but bread's really good, so. Unless you're keto. And why are you here? <laughs> All right, so then the next part, we're gonna do a layer of mozzarella and a layer of Kobe Jack. So which one do you want? Give me the Kobe Jack. All right, so nice resealable packages. Um, first time in my life that the shredded was the same price as the block, so it saves us a lot of time. That's not a thing. Those two are never the same price. It was. I don't believe you. Kroger, three forty nine. Do not believe you for one second. Just a nice handful. There's no actual measurements on this. A true cook never measures their exactly. ingredients. Something my Italian grandmother taught me. Alright. That should be good. 
And then we move on to the next part. We're going to throw this away. Just straight to the trash and done. <laughs> yep. Straight okay. to the trash. We're getting into the hot dogs. Um, yes. Now, it's very important with the hot dogs that you go beef and not any like chicken pork or any of that nasty stuff or tofurkey hot dogs. Okay. I'm going to stop you right there for one second. Sir, there has got to be a story behind that flour knife. My mom bought it for me when I was moving into my house. And uh, it's kind of my all-purpose knife. I like to uh, use it on everything. And then I don't have to touch the nice knives. And I can just throw this in the dishwasher and not worry about it. It's a very, uh, very good arrangement that I have with it. Okay. So, we're going to throw four dogs down. All right. Two more. And we're just going to make all of them. How thinly are we slicing them? Uh, however you want. You, okay. Here, take that out of yeah, the way. So, obviously you don't want huge chunks, but those work. And you're going to do that for the first four. So if I can get these ones out of there. Nope. They're all going in. And... Pull out one of my other knives. I'm gonna get these ones, which are going to be a little bit thinner, but I'm also gonna shred them up a little bit. So that way. What's the shredding for? Well, it just gets more hot dog in more places. Like we, you know, cut it up into tinier bits, okay. and then you know, that way every bite gets a little bit of hot dog instead of a big piece of hot dog every time. But yours are going to stay big. Yep. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, normally when I make this, I only do four hot dogs. But I've always found that I'm always still hungry when it's done. So you're going to add more? No, these are eight. So. <laughs> well, you said you only do four. Yeah, normally I do four. So we're adding four more. Okay. So, cut those ones up. <laughs> Jeez, come on, watch your fingers. <laughs> so You're not my supervisor. <laughs> so this is not a very good knife for chopping, but this it, one's it's not actually very really good, good either. No, they're not good knives. Maybe so. you should use the sharp ones you had on the counter over there. Ooh, you're asking a lot. I'll probably pull those out of the I mean this is it reminded me of an all purpose utility knife. Yeah, that's what I use it as. Got it a deer with it. I don't believe you. This is not <laughs> anywhere near sharp enough to gut a deer. No, I didn't. So I don't really know how to cut, but I've seen this on TV like this. And this is how I've been cutting since I was like 12. So that's how you go through and you like mince up your vegetables and you cut them super tiny. Oh, well, this is how I mince up my hot dogs. <laughs> so this is this is exactly how I do it. Uh, All right. Because I was not a professionally trained chef for hot dogs. I'm not a hot dogologist. So. But are you a coneyologist? No. <laughs> ah. All right. I'm just shredding these at this point. There. All right. These are good. So we're gonna go through, throw a bunch into this. Let me move these knives out of the way. The Unminced hot dogs in there as well. We're gonna go with the big ones first. You're okay. And we're gonna just kind of layer it about. Yeah, just toss them in. As long as they're spread out, we're pretty good there. All right. Now we're gonna move on to the best part. More cheese. Yes. Yes. Way more cheese. Don't let anyone ever tell you there's no such thing as too much cheese. There's not. Unless, I know. That's what I'm saying. Don't let anyone ever tell you. There's just, no such thing as too much cheese. Unless you're lactose intolerant, and then you can still eat cheese. They make pills for that. Yeah. So, I'm going to do a couple big helpings of it. Just going to spread that around, get it real good around the edges. And... Alright. That should be good. Now, we take these. Layer over the top. These layers on. Alright. 
All the rest? All of it, yeah. Okay. Could have just picked up the thing and dumped it. That would probably been the easier way. Alright. And then... More cheese? More cheese. Yes! Like I said, this is... Can I say best day ever? There's no <laughs> such thing as this, too much this cheese. This is definitely a heart attack. So... If I had some mozzarella, we'd be halfway through a pizza by now. I mean, or not you got any pepperoni? Marinara. I do. Oh. You got some, we can we can alter this up a little bit. All right. So that should be good enough for the cheese right now, because this is a lot, <laughs> and we still need to do a layer of the uh, on the top. Okay. So we're gonna make our pie layers. Um, this one is or two. this is a lot. We're gonna start with the one. So let me open it this time. <laughs> And we're going to see how far we can get before we pop into the other one. If we don't need it, we can use it later for a pizza. Sounds good to me. Alright. You can have that half. And I'll take this half. And... Now this is definitely better spread out and then just layered on top. And then we want to make sure that once it's layered on top, that we go around the edges and kind of bridge the gap between the uh, the sides. Okay. Buttery popcorn. I know. It's so good. It's making me so hungry. Alright. We might need to go into the other one. This is uh, a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. That's what she said. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Alright, so. Well, we might be able to make it all in there. So, we're going to do that. Cover that up. Cover this bit up. Yeah, I think we might need to get in oh, the yeah, other I still have one right here. Um, well, we still need to make sure the edges are done pretty well. I, actually, that might be okay. I don't want to overdo it. I did it one time where I did overdo the edges and it was like a thick crust on the side instead of a, then you've got an extra dipping layer, so if there's any leftover sauce or extra cheese, you can scoop it up. There's never any extra cherry cheese. <laughs> it's all eaten. It's all gone. I don't believe you. Alright, let's see. So, the idea is to try and make it kind of rounded off on the inside here. Okay. So, whatever we need to fill in gaps, that little piece that you have will do. So, we might, I think we did make it. So, let's see, ah, come out, all right, ooh, yeah. stick into me, yep, yeah, go ahead, right over that, okay, now, doughy in that section. It's gonna spread that out just a bit. There, done. <laughs> All right. Now, more butter. More butter. Line the sides of it so that way when it's melting in there, it will melt all along the side. Ooh. Give it a nice little butter crust. Doesn't have to be perfect. It can be as messy as you want. Sides there. I mean, this is, I mean, it's already butter croissants, butter on top of it. My arteries are already singing, I can yeah. hear them. <laughs> Just a little bit up there. Alright. And then. More cheese? A little bit. Just a tiny handful of okay. cheese. Just, just for decoration. So, just like. Just to give it a little bit. 
and it'll also help fill in those holes. All right, so whew, I didn't realize I had it on me, and I wiped my hands like that, and cheese is all over the floor. So then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start warming up the hot dog chili. Okay. Just slightly. And we're gonna actually turn on the oven. 350 should work. All right. Um, there is no science to this. I've cooked it at 350, I've cooked it at 450. It just kinda, you look at it and go, oh, that looks like it could be done. So that's gonna preheat. I should probably get the pans out of the oven first. <laughs> That's, that's some forward thinking there. <laughs> Thank God I don't want bread in there. Ah, uh, you didn't keep bread in an oven as a kid? Nope. It's a good hiding spot. Nope. Bread <laughs> in the bread box. Um, right, let me plug this in over here. Maker. I'm just making a lot of noise now. And can you grab a, uh, a pot of the cabinet there? What size are you looking for? Small little sauce pot. Uh, small sauce pot coming up. That'll work. All right, throw it on the stove. All right. All right. And then... <laughs> there it goes. Okay. So, hot dog chili sauce on low while the oven preheats. Uh, we're going to put this thing in the oven. Um, it doesn't matter that it's still preheating. I don't ever check it. And then we'll come back when it's about done and we'll pull it out and finish it off. Sounds like a plan. All right, guys, time has come. I'm ready. Are you guys ready to see how this turned out? Well, I'm just hungry. Well, I'm hungry too. Come on, Gorman, let's see All what right. we got. So, we're gonna pull this out. Ooh, that is hot. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah. Go ahead and kick this off. All right. So, yeah, that does look I so turn good. it off. I already turned it off. Oh. No, you didn't. I did. Oh, I fucked it up. It's over here. You're, you just put it on broil, but that's the oven it's set off. Fair enough. Okay. Ah, we'll cut that. Okay, so, um, as you can tell, it is almost done. It's not quite. Uh, we have the chili, which uh, was hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have the chili that we're going to uh, pour on the top of it to give it a nice little frosting and doesn't have to be perfect now at you this point spatula you can put, or anything uh yeah, maybe use for easy spreading well, a spoon works to spread it but uh Two things that you can add here, and like I said, one that I'm, I'm not a big fan of is the onions, which I do like onions, just I don't like them on Coney Dogs. Um, but, uh, and then mustard. So mustard is a big must for this, because it gives it just a little bit of that mustardy flavor. <laughs> so. All right, not a fan of mustard, but I'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. So, let's uh, get a little bit more out of there. So get that hot dog chili on there. And you just wanna make sure the edges are free and clear because um, if you just put it all across it and you go to cut into it, then you got chili just leaking everywhere. So, it's not fun to So, I'm not gonna throw that in yet. So we gotta pour the mustard take anything? Let him take the mustard. All right, how much do you put? How much uh, do just you like? do a couple lines. There we 
There you go. A little bit more. I'm not a fan of mustard, so we'll right. call it that's, done. That's perfect. And then, just mix it in. So now you can't avoid the mustard. <laughs> you are the worst. I, uh, one time I put it into the chili as I was cooking like the chili. Cooking it? And, uh, how'd that turn out? It didn't taste as good as how this does, so. So, what's the kind of flavor that we're looking for? Um, like, what am I going to expect when I take you're this? You're going to expect, like, a chili dog flavor. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Hmm. I'll take it. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm okay. sorry. Okay. At least cut it first. All right. So, undo the latch. This is hot. This is hot. This is hot. Hot pad. Yeah, I should probably put it on there. I'm just gonna throw it in the sink. Did that leave a ring on my table? You Whatever. might have. All right. Good job. So I cleaned the knife. Like I, 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 I don't know if anyone realized that we cleaned everything after. We did a quick cleaning uh, break yeah. while everything was in the oven cooking. Yeah. So it's, sanitizer was, uh, is your friend. What? Forty-five minutes on three fifty. So try going four fifty at two minutes. I think that'll work. No. <laughs> Okay, so realistically, thinking about 375, 30 minutes. Yeah, that's probably probably better. But we cooked it on 350, and it was like 40, 45 minutes or so. Uh, yeah, it is 820. Yeah. Just took that out about so, five minutes ago. I'm going to go through, slice into it. You can see that goo Ooh. right in there. All I'm those layers so of cheese. I'm so excited to try this. And then, uh, I'm going to just cut this one slice off for you. This one slice is probably 6,000 calories. I'm okay with that being my meal for the week. Let's do this. All right. So, I'm gonna grab a plate and a spatula. Oh, look, at look at that cheese. That goo. Oh. Do the honors. Corbin, I would gladly take the first bite of this and just look at this. Bring a little bit more on in the ear so that way, yeah. Oh, look at that cheese. That is beautiful. A little bit of everything, some cheese, some crust, hot dog, and chili. Oh my god. Right. Oh my god, that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh... Oh, that is amazing. Alright, you're done. I want more. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I gotta ask. When you were coming up with this, like, where was your train of thought? What... How did you get so, here? Um, I went through and I made pigs in a blanket. Okay. And I thought, hmm, I sure would like to have more than just one or two hot dogs. I bet I could, you know, cut them up and put them into something else. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. Yeah, no, this, I like have no words. This is one of the best things I've ever put in my mouth before. <laughs> Shut up. So, anyways, so I wanted more. So I, I was experimenting with pigs in a blanket by putting different cheeses with it. And then eventually I just did like, instead of having separate ones, I did them all as uh, one big pig in a blanket. You know, just one big piece. Okay. Um, then... I saw some chili in my cabinet and went, hmm, I wonder if I can have pigs in a blanket like a chili dog. And uh, then I kind of just dipped it in the chili and was like, oh, that's pretty good. And then I just decided I'm going to make a pie and try that. And I was working on perfecting it for uh, 
Christmas Eve dinner at my brother's house. Woo. Okay. And so, so that's when I, cannot stop eating I finally it perfected so good. it. So this is very filling though. Like when, once we finish this slice, you gotta give it like five minutes. It's gonna hit. Mm -mm. <laughs> going. You're like, I'm just gonna dive right We're in. Going in for a second. Just gonna jump in. We're so, going in for a second. I'm sorry. So the mustard's not bothering you? No, I don't even taste it. Like it gives it like a very light, sweet, tangy flavor, but blended in between the cheeses, especially with it mixed directly in with the chili. Yeah. You don't taste it. It definitely helps with it. So one one of the other things is I um here I'll hold it for you. Fight no, it. I was say get a get a piece. I um mm. originally did this with biscuits, and the biscuits made and you can see the breading's a little bit big on the on the end here. It was way worse uh, with the biscuits. Was it? Was so it the like crescent too, rolls actually like, ended too up, thick to get through, or yeah, it just oh, became I'm... too thick, and it also crumbled a lot. Um, so crescent rolls actually ended up being the best one, and um, they were easier for me to work with anyway. So. Hmm. I'm just gonna take this whole thing home with me, just so you know. <laughs> like, it's such a simple yeah. recipe, but it is delicious. Let me just put that in there so they can see it. This is uh, really hot, but not burning. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this hot to myself? Hot pads, Gorbin hot pads. I know. I'm trying to burn off my fingerprints like Will Smith. That's a myth. It's men in black. No, it's a myth. Snow's debunked it. He never actually did it. No. The men in black are not real. <laughs> Snopes would want you to think that. They would. So, um... Eat more of this. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> Go. So, yeah, it's just the the edges are a little bit harder to cut through, but you have to have that extra breading there. To hold the whole thing in place. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So. Just, Honestly, this might be the best one that I've had, so. Uh, you want to know why? More cheese was added. Yeah, no, um, I think we used a pound of each, if not more. And I think on all the other ones, I used half a pound. So it's, so we over cheesed it, so. So when in doubt, cheese it out. Yeah. <laughs> so, we need to come up with something for next time to cook. I'm going to leave that one on you. So, kind of following along the train of this, with the extra oh. thick. So we're just going to make this again. No. <laughs> No, I'm thinking next time we're going breakfast cake. I can get behind that. Kind of following I like breakfast, this... I like cake. Mm -hmm. No, we're just kind of following the same lines, like the easy croissant, crispy, flaky, buttery rolls. I've got quite the recipe for you that will make breakfast something you will repeat day in and day out. Doesn't matter what <laughs> meal it is of the day. <laughs> well, I look forward to that. So join us next time um, for Let's Do Something and let, we're your let's, host. let's eat. <laughs> let's, yeah, we're, we're your host. <laughs> we're your host. Corbin yeah. and stuff of Let's yeah. Eat. Yeah. See you guys next time.